The Picky Prince, The Princess and the Peanut by Andrea Kazmarek There was once a rather picky prince. Because he was so picky, he was finding it harder than hard to find the perfect princess. She must be clever and very, very sensitive and like the same things as me, he told the king and queen. Clever and sensitive, the queen asked. She was now very fed up with her son. None of the princesses suited him at all. She must be sensitive and like the same things as me, the prince decided. The king and the queen had invited plenty of princesses, but there was always something wrong with them. Too tall, too small, talks too much, doesn't talk at all, and doesn't like the things I like, nothing ever seemed right. But one stormy night, things changed. There was a loud banging at the castle door. Let me in, please. I'm a princess whose car has broken down. The king let the princess in. What a mess she was. Her hair was wet, her dress was soaked, her shoes were muddy, she had oil stains on her hands. She was really quite a fright. The queen frowned. Are you sure you're a princess? But they invited her in anyway. Of course. Sorry about my messy look. But I'm driving in the princess rally and my car broke down just outside your castle. The princess rally? The queen asked. I've never heard of it. The princess smiled and rubbed her wet hair in a towel. It's quite new. I'm testing my old-timer car out. I've got my little crown and my proper princess dress in my bag in the car. But yes, I am a real princess. Princess Jemima Jane is my name. Sorry, but your castle was just the nearest place. Well, actually, it is really nice to meet you. And princesses are always welcome here as it happens, the queen smiled. In fact, we love having princesses to stay. Would you mind taking our princess test? The princess said that was fine, but she was really so tired and needed a car mechanic in the morning. The queen quickly got the princess test ready. Twenty soft feather mattresses were taken to the spare room. The queen smiled, a tricky little smile as she placed a peanut under the bottom mattress. With this teeny tiny peanut, we shall certainly see just how sensitive this princess is. The queen showed the princess to her bedroom. I hope you'll be comfortable. Maybe you would like to meet the prince tomorrow. He really likes meeting visiting princesses. Princess Jemima Jane was just too tired and wanted to fall into bed, but with that pile of mattresses she had to climb. Twenty feather mattresses, how very strange. Maybe that's how they sleep around here, she thought as she climbed to the top and then snuggled down under the patchwork cover. The next morning the sun was shining and Princess Jemima Jane couldn't wait to get out and get to work on her car. She joined the king and queen for breakfast. Good morning, she smiled. What would you like for breakfast, the queen asked. Princess smiled. Toast with peanut butter would be nice, but I must tell you that your twenty feather mattresses are not comfortable at all, as I hoped. Quite lumpy, in fact. It took me ages to drop off. Just then the prince arrived. Good morning, everybody. He clapped his hands. There is the most amazing old-timer car parked outside our gates. I'll just grab a peanut butter toast and check it out. He hadn't even noticed Princess Jemima Jane as she called after him. But don't touch anything. That car is one of a kind. I know, the princess shouted over his shoulder. That old-timer looks amazing. I want to take a closer look. The princess smiled and finished her toast. Very nice indeed, she smiled. But if you don't mind, I think I would like to get out to my car. The king looked at the queen and the queen looked at the king. What do you think? The queen smiled. She found the mattresses lumpy and seems mad about old-timer cars. The king laughed. Too early to say, but with a bit of luck. Outside the castle, the prince was bending over Princess Jemima Jane's car. It's a very old banger that I did up myself, Princess Jemima Jane told the prince. I think the oil pipe might be broken. Have you got any tools? Have I got any tools? The prince laughed. I repair all the castle cars myself. The picky prince and Princess Jemima Jane got married later that year. It was indeed a lovely old-fashioned wedding. They found plenty of things they both liked. Old-timer cars, driving in car rallies, cooking pasta, dogs, watching the same TV shows, and peanuts, usually for breakfast as crunchy peanut butter. The End